Hello everyone, today I'm showing you an Excel tip uh, regarding the salary structure uh, with this floating bar chart. So um, if you have seen my um, playlist of the salary structure, look, this is the uh, where I showed you how to do the floating bar chart and, you, and then you use a scatter point chart to add the employee data into it so you can see how the employee is located compared to the full range, right? So that is a pretty cool chart for HR and for um, salary structure purpose. Um, but then in reality, I come across this problem a lot and I want to show you how I resolve it. And the problem is that in reality, uh, for the organization that you're working on, they're not always necessarily using grade one to 10 for their uh, salary grades. And uh, there are many reasons, but then th uh, there are companies who use um, letters um, and there's companies using a combination of like say letters and numbers. For example, this way, maybe that this level above are executives. So it's exactly level one, level two, level three, blah, blah, blah. And then some uh, in some cases, you might actually want to have the job level spread out. Like it's like say junior, senior, Da, 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 da. So in that case, uh, for my X axis, I don't always want to just show number. I want to show whatever job level that I want uh, that my company has. So how do we do that? Um, first, like it, it's actually, actually very simple, um, but the important thing here to remember is that uh, whatever uh, salary grades or like tax that you want to put for your grades or job levels, um, make sure they have this one to one um, uh, match to still to the one number one to 10 to the numerical value. And the reason for that is uh, we can always show uh, the grades as whatever tax that we want to show. But then for our scatter point chart, um, they don't really care. Like, for example, the grades. So if we look at our charts, like it's going to show the grades for the for for those ones, for the dots, they don't really care what tax we have. They only care which position of the column they are in the chart. So what they are anchoring with are still the one, two, three, four, five. You just need to make sure that um, when you have this combination chart, you will have your uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and whatever text that you're showing here anchored consistently. So, so that, for example, if the job level is junior, then for my scatter points, for my employees, I know I'm anchoring uh, column one. Okay, so that's what I emphasize, want to emphasize. And let me show you how to do this conversion. So first you select. So well, I, I'm here because I assume that you watch my previous video and you know how to get to this chart. If not, you can always watch it that first. And then once you get to this chart, select your access with all the numbers <clears throat> and then you go to, um, uh, well, you can go to format access so you can see that the access type is actually automatically selected based on data. So now we don't want it to be automatically selected. And what we do is select it and go to select data. Um, and then the horizontal axis, go to edit. So you now, uh, now you see the label range is blank, which means that it's by default. But then let's select whatever range that we want to show and go OK. And then OK, and then here you go. So you have exactly the kind of task that you want to show. So for example, you can say junior, senior, manager. And then you can see manager is automatically updated here. And then you can change this to D1, E1, F2, blah, blah. And then your tax will show exactly what you want. And then, um, and I find this is very practical. It's easy, but it's actually very practical because um, it's just like so useful in real life when you work with compensation HR. Okay, so that is everything I want to share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.